Okay, I'd like to show you how to evaluate Spearman's correlation in Excel. So here's the formula for it. Um, and the thing that we want Excel to do the work for um, is summing up the differences between the rank or the position of the X observation and the position of the Y observation. Um, so we're going to square those differences and then add them up. And Excel's going to help us. So let me jump to the data. Um, so for the ranks of the X, the function I'm going to use is rank.averageAVG. So this is when it sees two observations that are same, it's going to average their ranks. Now I want the rank of the observation in cell A2 out of a list of the whole of a sample of X observations. And, oops, let me do that again. And then the final argument, the third argument is, um, do you want it ascending or descending? Doesn't matter so long as we're consistent, but I'll choose here ascending. Now I want to copy that down, and before I do that, I'm going to fix the first and last observation. Okay, so that gives me one that tells me that this 1.2 is the smallest of the X observations. Copying that down, um, we can see here where, um, actually first let me sort, so sort the data by the X's. Now they're ascending and we can see the two 3.8s would have got ranks 6 and 7, but because we chose the rank average function, it's averaged those to be 6.5 each. If I copy that across, um, Excel updates all the A's in the expression to B's, and so it has kindly worked out for me the ranks of the Y's. And if I redo that sorting, um, we can see here that those are all ascending, there's no double ups. And so um, the ranks just a count um, counter run through those. The Spearman's expression, if we zip back to it, it wants to work out the difference between the rank of the X and the rank of the Y. So let's ask Excel to do that. So C2 minus D2 is the difference, and because they're both the same. The difference is zero and let's square those um, so equals that number and on the six key the little hat is the instruction to square um, so I've added the two after that now if I copy that down um, it gives me the differences and the difference is squared so the sum, add those up please, and I get a sum of 14.5. I could have actually skipped this column by using the function sum square, and that squares these before adding them up. Um, so we get the same thing there, but I think it's, it's illustrative to see what's going on in that column. So finally, Spearman's, the formula, 1 minus 6 times the sum, divided by, and I probably should um, use a function to count these, but I can see there are 13 observations. So 13 cubed minus 13, that's the n cubed minus n, and the brackets there are really important. Um, and Excel evaluates for me Spearman's correlation. So that's the sum of the d squared, and that's Spearman's. Some really nice mathematics. Um, you, can, you can prove that Spearman's um, is just Pearson's correlation, so that's done by the function C-O-R-R-E-L. Um, Pearson's correlation of the rank, the ranks. Now because of the tie, those two 6.5s, um, it's not quite identical, but um, 
as we can see there it's very very close um, so if, if there were no ties then that those two numbers would be exactly the same and actually we probably shortcut the whole process by just working out um, Pearson's correlation of the ranks so there you have it Spearman's correlation in Excel